G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be installing Zorin OS, Zorin 15, onto my um, main system Intel Skull Canyon NUC. So let's get on with that. English US. Download updates, install third party, yes. Now this is my second install. First install went flawlessly, except for the fact that I forgot to record it. <laughs> oh, I just got a bit carried away. I was in autopilot, wiped off Ubuntu budgie, and then I realized I wasn't recording. So let's go to something else. Um, we can install alongside Zorin OS 15, erase disk, which will erase everything. I don't want to do that. Something else. So what we've got here is uh, something a little bit different to the normal dev SDA. We have a dev NVMe 0N1, partition 1, partition 2, partition 3. That's how it works on a M.2 SSD, which, are, which is what I've got running in the Intel Skull Canyon NUC here. Uh, they look like a memory card, but the um, it doesn't go the, the full length. Um, where it plugs in, it's it's right at the end. At the, the, the na it's a, it's right at the narrow ends where it plugs in. So it's quite a different card, a different hard drive completely. So what we're going to do is this is the EFI as you can see. So I'm just going to double click that, and it's already set for that. I don't have an op option to format it, so it probably format anyway. So I have a. A 50, uh, 40, uh, around about 43 gig drive here, or partition. So that's my root install. So that's what we're going to do here. Use all of that in ext4, format the partition, and the mount point will be root. Now this other one here, I'm not going to touch. That's my data partition has all my data on it. As long as I don't touch that, I don't lose anything. I've got to be very careful when I'm installing on this machine. So as you can see, the, the Samsung SSD 960 Evo, 256 gig. I'm really looking towards getting a one terabyte. I really need to add to this device because this 250 is just, it's just nothing these days to be honest and it just takes up my space very quickly so nvme 0 n1 so we're going to the device for bootloader installation is going to be partition one which is the efi partition one that's what we're going to go for and we're going to click install now and we get the warning, it's going to partition partition number two. Continue that, which is the root drive or the root partition that we are targeting. Australia Perth. I might have to start using PCTLC as my name. And Oh, then again, that can be done in te test disks, I suppose. So it's going to be, I always put my first name and the name of the operating system, which is how I normally set it up, just so I know, and I can, I can identify which machine it is on my home network as well. So that's the reason why I do that, because I've got a few machines around here, so I just need to make sure I can identify which machine. That's if I'm looking at sharing folders and that, which I don't do very often. I've got a central point that I always share everything on. So I put my password in. It's a good password, it tells me. And I like to use a uh, login, not login automatically. So let's continue that. That is Zorin OS 15 install complete. And as you can see, if you look at the times, probably five minutes, if that, or maybe slightly longer than that, but didn't take too long at all. This machine is 
a fairly strong machine anyway. It's um, it's an i7 with 32 gigs of RAM, so it runs pretty quick. Um, so that's the install complete, and I may do a post install on Zorin and have a look at uh, all the stuff that I'm installing, all the apps that I need to get myself up and running on a daily basis, or at least when I'm doing my thing on the computer and editing videos and so forth, so I may do that. So that is Zorin OS 15 installed. Hope you enjoyed the video. Help. Hope you found it interesting and informative, and thanks for watching.